Rare 70s Star Wars Jawa figurine expected to fetch at least $19,118 at auction. The owner of a rare Star Wars miniature from the 1970s discovered it in his loft. The model is a 1978 Jawa developed by the now-defunct British toy firm Polidoi, which used to make Action Man, Pippa Doll, and Merlin items. The owner, who has chosen to remain nameless, discovered it while organizing the many movie artifacts scattered throughout his home. During the Star Wars campaign in Marvel Comics, the owner, an art director for Marvel UK in the 1970s, was gifted several items by Polidoi. Only 10 to 15 of these figures have been documented, making this one even more unique because it is in exceptional condition and has the original vinyl cloak on display, which was replaced with a cotton cape shortly after it was manufactured. Another Jawa figure that the owner had previously discovered went for $33,000 at auction, much above its $12,745 to $19,118 price estimate. The estimate for this Jawa is the same, but it is anticipated to go beyond that amount once again. Auctioneer Jonathan Torot of Excalibur said they were thrilled to be involved in the auction of one of the rarest statues. He claimed that because of the previous original figure's popularity, people looked for one in their houses all over the world, but he never imagined that another would originate from the same place. Mr. Torod added, I feel utterly spoilt being able to handle another such rare part of Star Wars toy history. With their cloaked faces, the Jawas identities remain hidden, but they are renowned scavengers who scour the deserts of Tatooine for scraps to sell to the local residents. They notoriously kidnapped the lovable droid R2-ED2 in the 1977 Star Wars movie, A New Hope. Enthusiasts will get a chance to bid for the figurine on January 27 at Excalibur Auctions.